Hello everyone, my name is Jalen Huff and I am a third year engineering management student here at IIT specializing in mechanical engineering. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in to the recurring series of DAC College Life. P.S. This is only episode one. In this episode, we'll be covering the issue of commuting here on campus. Why commuting? Personally, I'm a commuter student and I seem to find myself losing hours and hours of time each week simply commuting to and from campus. Also, I generally find it difficult to deal with the change in pace, as in coming from a trafficked gridlock intersection to the peaceful comfort of my own room at home and trying to calm myself down to be able to focus on my work. Also, there are factors that are completely out of my control, such as the weather, as well as safety conditions posed by other drivers. Or maybe I'm just experiencing some very early senioritis issues, or it could just be a lazy good-for-nothing student. Anyway, to clarify this issue, I want to see how other students felt. And being part of the vast Commuter Student Association here on campus, I was able to find two willing students who, including myself, have completely different commuting experiences. This is the result of these following interviews. My two interviewees are Karen, who is a fourth-year psychology student who normally commutes from the north side, but now lives right here in Bronzeville. My second interviewee's name is Ricardo. He is a second year business administration student specializing in marketing. He also commutes from the north side. Question number one, why do you commute? I commute to school because I can't afford to live on campus and Dorms are a little overpriced at IIT. Well, I commute uh, because I live like 90 minutes away. So I try driving here, but, um, and also I try to live here, but it's really expensive on campus. So I have no choice but to commute for now. Question number two, what other options have you tried? Well, I've tried moving closer because I did used to take the train all the way to IIT, but lucky for me, it was just one long hour train ride here, whereas most people would take a bus and a train to get here. But now I live closer. I live about two blocks away and that's made it a lot easier. So you said you tried driving. How was that? Yeah, so I actually during like for a week me and my friend tried driving to school but uh, sometimes the traffic was really bad so we ended up uh, coming late to school so that did not work out. Question number three, do you feel commuting affects you academically? I believe it most certainly did. I had a lot less time to study and I was trying to be as involved as most people and that made me stay on campus a little later and I got home later and I had a lot less time to do homework, to study, stuff like that. I think it does. Um, so it's, since it takes me 90 minutes, I usually try uh, making up for that time by reading on the train. But uh, it also, I can't really use the resources in school since once I leave the campus, I can't just come back if I need to do something else. So that really uh, affects my academics, not being able to use the resources when I need to. And resources for like maybe the library, professors, TAs of that sort? Right, mostly professors will be really useful when I have questions for them. Question number four. Do you feel that commuting affects your social life? I couldn't be in as many organizations because for the same reason that I am a commuter, some people met later at night or they met on weekends or their events were late and I didn't have anyone to pick me up late at night and I didn't really want to take the train home that late. Oh, uh, definitely. Uh, my first year, actually, I, since I was still getting used to the commuting, since I never did like 90 minutes commute, it was really hard to adapt and I, I really could not, uh, I was barely part of any organization. And the ones that I did take a part in, I, it was really limited since I couldn't stay for the events like uh, during the nights. So yeah, it really did affect me the first year. And sometimes during events, they they might uh, usually have lunch events. So I used to go to that ones. Those were good. Question number five. When you began commuting, did you have any specific expectations? Mm, as far 
those expectations. I guess I got what I expected, a long commute. Um, it wasn't as safe as I hoped, I guess. So I'd... you didn't feel safe? No. Okay, okay. So, I mean, or when I just started commuting, I really thought it would be like maybe easier since it's just one train. It's just the red line. But uh, yeah, it turned out to be like, turned out to be harder than I thought since sometimes I also have to commute at night. So it, my expectations were, it, it turned out to be harder than I thought, so. Question number six. Have you recently or in the past encountered any issues while commuting to and from campus? Well, I guess the dangers of commuting, the location of IIT, the social life, I didn't really get to participate in as many organizations aside from a commuter organization. And the academics, all that. Oh yes, I have. Um, so I actually live in a neighborhood, it's in, around Howard, around the Rogers Park neighborhood. So it's not really safe. There's always like cops around because because of the fact that there's like a lot of violence around that part. So that's an issue, you know, when I go commute during the night, I have to really be careful like where I go and through what streets I walk through. And that's really an issue that I have to go with. And that might even make the trip to or from wherever you're going a bit longer. Right, because you have to be more, more careful. Question number seven. Have you encountered any rumors going around campus about the commuter life? I recently heard that you can't go past 35th. Or shouldn't? Was Should it shouldn't not. or can't? Should not, okay. Well, the most recent rumor that I heard was, uh, you know, you it's really dangerous to go past 35th. This is the final question. I want to just have this um, as a little keepsake, just kind of open up. You, you don't know this question at all. To both of you, Karen and Ricardo, who do you think has it worse? Students that live on campus or commuter students? Well, I mean, I don't want to sound biased and say, oh, you know, commuters have it worse. But technically, I live really close to campus and I've lived both lifestyles, kind of. So I could easily say commuters have it worse. Well, I actually think now, thinking about it, that uh, students on campus have it worse. So, I mean, I've heard a lot of complaints about students, about the food, about the dorms, about fire alarms going off at 2 a.m. True. So now that I think about it, I think it's better to commute and live in your own place where you you have your own rules, you don't have to deal with fire alarms that other people set off. And you know, once you're locked into that contract, you, you gotta stay on it and pay it. So I think commuters have it better. That's a really different take, Ricardo. I never actually thought about that. I always thought, okay, commuter students definitely have it worse. We have everything, we have to feel everything that normal students do. And even just have to add on the fact that we have this long or just annoying ass commute. Sometimes I drive fast, it takes me 10 minutes to get here. Don't tell my parents. But uh. Yeah, I kind of do have to deal with that, but my counter to that would be I'm on campus a lot because I am a commuter, and even though I have a car now, um, I do get to get free food a lot, whether it's just you know events like you go to or just going into the commons, and I do have to complain about the food, the food as well. So I guess I can say I live both lifestyles like Karen, but I still gotta say, even though I have a car now, I think commuter students got it bad. All right, well, if you guys have no more comments, thank you both very much for this well there you have it whether being a normal resident or a daily commuter the struggle is real at iit thank you all for listening jaybird out